Hello friends, Jers here with some words of Rochi 4. Koi Tecmo was awesome enough to send me a review code and let's get into it. Um, first off, I was able to import some data. Um, I had like 500,000 kills. They gave me 100,000 growth points, which was cool. They gave me a few uh, costumes for free as well for having a uh, saved data of Dynasty Warriors 9, which is really awesome. So we have Battle Arena. I'm going to assume that's the online store, uh, the, not the online store. The online uh, multiplayer options. What do we have in here? There's actually a tutorial. Oh, I'm. You know what? I am down to try out the uh, save data bonuses. Does that show up in here? If you have save data. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the growth points and I got the Dynasty Warriors 9 costumes. Awesome. Let's try out the tutorial before we get into some story, shall we? So, this is all Battle Arena tutorial. Oh. Well, I'm going to save this for another time. Well then, my friends, shall we dive into some story mode? I think we should. Gonna head in here blind. Excited to see what kind of new story they've got for me cooked up with the revival of Orochi. Unless there's a whole new enemy in here, who knows? Ooh. <laughs> じくを歪めて英雄たちを集めた。だが英雄たちは魔王、幼女、そして絶対の破壊神を打ち、元の日常へと帰っていった。すべてを忘れて。うーん、なかなか見応えのある物語だったな。例のものを… <笑> Yes, father. Karera no kizuna of Tatabi Musubia was ever. Aratanel Sekaiga Marida Ro. Kono Udewa Gareba. Sore Mutayasi. They're giving us a bracelet. Chito. Perseus. Snap. Of course, the Wu would find it first. They sure are good at finding treasures, aren't they? Auntie. <laughs> Oh snap, I get to start off as now Masa Ii. Man, I'm kinda digging the menu bar down there. So I wonder how I'll swap. Alright, so left trigger, right trigger is still gonna continue to be the swaps. Uh, oh, alright. This does my map, the touchpad. Is there anything else I can look at in here? Units, so there is myself. Uh, how do I look at... Well, apparently I'm the only ally out here in terms of generals. I don't see any uh, enemies. This may be a tutorial battle. Advance to the center and get a grasp of the situation. Okay. Battle objective. Oh, look at this. It, oh, so the, I, this is already kind of spoiling what's uh, what's out here. So defeat 100 enemies using Muso attacks. These are little uh, challenges that would happen in uh, Samurai Warrior games. I kind of like that they're here, actually. Um, they have some in Dynasty Warriors as well and the old Warriors Orochi games, but I feel like the samurai warrior editions are kind of more difficult depends like in uh, empires if you played empires so this one these are not too hard to start off so we're gonna get gems um since we're just starting out in the game i'd imagine gems are pretty valuable so we definitely want to defeat luling chi shengong and defeat 100 enemies using muso attacks uh what else do we have out here officers man who do i want to be in my main squad 
I would love to have Tadakatsu. I, I respect him as a character overall. Let's get in here. Let's go kick some butt. Discover Mysterious Soldiers. There's Mysterious Soldiers in that area. You can perform basic actions, uh, move around, basic attacks with square, of course. Is that what you'd like me to do right now? We are in tutorial, la uh, tutorial land. What I should really be working on is um, these Musou attack kills. See if we can get 100 KOs. Oh, that three piece is still nasty, dude. I wonder if his Muso meter will build up on its own. Here's a charge attack, hyper. Oh, yeah, she is kicking some butt out here at night. When you press triangle, um, when you press triangle, characters from the Dynasty Warriors and Wars Orochi series will execute a charge attack, while characters from Samurai Warrior series will execute a hyper attack. You can follow up either of those attacks by pressing square to unleash a variety of attacks. Oh, I am very aware of that. Oh, what is this? Players form a uh, party of three characters when heading out to the battlefield. You can switch among them with the triggers. The health gauge and muscle gauge of standby characters will be gradually refilled. So similar to previous games, which is something we are quite used to. Let's keep working on these muso uh, kills here. Hi! If you switch characters immediately after executing a charge attack, a switch combo will occur. Oh, we've got to get into that. In addition to chaining your attacks together to deliver constant damage, or to a tornado will also be formed in the surrounding area, allowing you to rack up your hit count. Oh, I love, I love the sound of that. I see, I see the tornado. I see the tornado, baby. We gotta let Tadakatsu get in here. Lock on with I like I like the lock on feature. That's very nice. When you press R three, uh, enemies nearby will focus on the nearest uh, target. Press R three again to cancel the target you're locked on to. So here is Gaoshun. Press circle when your Muso gauge is filled to unleash a Muso attack. You're invincible when performing these attacks. Fantastic. We got a combo thing too. Um, I wonder how I am doing in terms of my challenges. Bad objectives. Uh, I need 40 more kills with Muso attacks. Still need defeat. Uh, Luling Chi and Shengong. Boy, do you know who I am? Tadakatsu, baby! We got something. I need to kind of group these enemies up a little bit more. Let's let uh, Tadakatsu fire off an attack or two. A uh, Muso attack. Group up my lovelies. Because I need to do a Muso attack. We need four, about 40 more kills, and I think I may have gotten about 20 here. Oh, whoa, that was... Okay, that was actually... That was actually a little more than I thought, buddy. Alright, let's keep on going. Luling Chi should be up here. I would assume this is not Luling Chi. So I don't have an R1 button at the moment, which is something I'm very uh, familiar with having in the previous games. We got a checkpoint now, looking good. So not having an R1 is a bit odd for me. 
Especially since I just got off Wars Orochi 3 Ultimate, like right now. <laughs> Enemy officers have appeared. Fantastic. She has the faster hyper attack right now. Approaching. Approach Shen Gong and Lu Ling Chi. Oh yeah, baby, the three piece. See if she has a four piece. Not yet. But the three piece, that is looking lovely. My god, I don't remember having that in the previous games. And I'm Samurai Warriors 4. So his one piece from his hyper attack. His two piece. And his three piece. Uh, nothing too crazy. He's not really a hyper charge character. Here's Lu Ling Chi. Let's kick her butt with a Muso attack. Oh, that was a good chunk of her health, my god. Alright, so Luling Chi has been eliminated. That is one of the uh, challenges they had for us. Once a character EXP uh, reaches a certain level, he or she will level up and their abilities will be increased. Oh man, I've been missing out on some tutorial pages here. I had seen that you can go another page. I actually know the next button does the next page. Whew, thank God for that. Uh, you can earn EXP by defeating soldiers, officers, and obtaining scrolls or winning battles. So what I noticed about the tornado combo thing, it only happens... Oh crap, Lu Bu appeared. It only happens when you're doing a charge attack. If you're doing a basic attack like I am now, like some blue diamond comes out. You see how the little blue diamond is popping out? But if I do a charge attack, now there's a tornado here, which is pretty cool, and apparently it does a lot of damage. Let's head on down over here. We have to defeat Shingong. For the uh, for the challenge, now we're doing. We have a lot of hits. Shengong. Oh yeah, that's right. And the old games officers could deflect your hyper attacks too. Nothing new there. Boom! How did you like that Michael Bay juice right there, boy? Can they even block this? I wonder if they can block that. Oh, I, don't, I don't even know if that's a capability that they can do. This, yeah, this little tornado. I'm wondering if they can actually block that. Let's go kick some button here. You know what? I actually want to see something. Um, oh, here I can see allies and enemies now. Cool. So for my officers, can I look at uh, my abilities unlocked right now? I have a skill point for these characters right now. Okay. These two characters fall under Samurai Warriors 4 apparently. He's from Samurai Warriors 1. Okay. EXP. He is my strongest one right now, Tadakatsu. No worries. Alright, Lu Bu. You're gonna get these flame kicks. And some toes from above, boy. Honestly, to fight Lu Bu this early in the game, kind of crazy.
Oh no! Wow, dude. You couldn't handle us in a regular playing field? You gotta go and turn God form? Completing battle objectives enables you to receive various rewards. Uh, the first time you complete an objective, you receive a first completion reward. Even after receiving such reward, you can repeatedly obtain rewards for each battle objective you complete. Sweet. So we were good to do the uh, battle awards here. Uh, I didn't do good in the terms of uh, time. We needed to cut off an entire minute to get an S class. But KOs are looking good. Uh, evaluation, we got an A overall. At least we got the objectives too. I was kind of messing around for a while, but I'll take it, man. Totally fine with me. We even get a little multiplier as well. Looks like 1.6 on the gems there. Interesting. Crystals acquired, none. At the moment, when the bond between characters grows stronger, you will receive various benefits. Uh, you can be made stronger by winning battles as a team member or ally. Performing unity magic. We have not experienced the unity ability yet. Um, helping allies when they're in trouble or by training together. It's easier to strengthen a bond between characters that share a bond relationship. Interesting. So I'd, you know, I'd assume Zhang Fei, Guan Yu, Lu Baby. Those are pretty good people to have a bond relationship. Do we have a bond relationship is the question. I did see it move a little bit for Tadakatsu. So Lubu. Yatsu. <laughs> Chapter 1 scenario Unfamiliar enemies is now available. Huh. Mock battle. Okay. That might be like a free mode of sorts. So what we could do... Oh, wow, I can have a second player join me. That's pretty cool. So network, we can play online. Oh! So can I do story missions online? Oh, look at this. Mock battles. You can fight a mock battles with your team to check out... Uh, individual attacks and movesets, as well as new actions they've learned via upgrades. Settings. So where do I go to actually do uh, my upgrades? I guess I would have to check out the next battle. Oh, here we go. Officer info. Actually, we could just do that here. So let's take a peek at what we have so far. Compatibility went up a little bit due to the kills we got. Uh, normal attacks. He's he doesn't have anything too crazy yet because he's only level two. Uh, same with the hyper attacks. Still lacking that area two. Now I do have a skill point and I'm not sure how to use those. So total sorties. We have one total KOs. Two hundred uh, Uh, let's take a look at this young lady. I only have 172 uh, kills with her. She also has one skill point. I'm pretty sure the game will explain what those skill points are for later. Same thing, normal and basic attacks are uh, interesting. And you can get up to 5 star weapon it appears. It looked like I used a lot of uh, Tarakatsu that battle. I do plan on keeping them if they let me pick my team. They'll probably be someone that I keep indefinitely. Interesting. So, what is triangle? Okay, if I had a uh, larger roster, join period. Oh, I can actually filter this to whatever I like as well. Oh, look at this. Orochi 1 and 2, 3, 4. It looks like they've uh, went and organized it a bit better. Power, technique, and speed. You know, those are still around. That's sweet. This is like, uh, where's Orochi 1? 
I'm getting some more Zorochi. One flare right now. All right. So, guys, I think what I'm going to do, we're going to end it off here. So thanks for watching. Next episode, we'll jump into the next battle. We're not high enough level to do it, but I don't know. It's the next battle. Maybe I should do a, a mock battle and level up or something. We do have growth points, but I don't know how to apply them at the moment. So I'm hoping they will help a brother out with that. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you later, guys.